What's going on, lads? What's the crack? Welcome back to the channel. And we are taking a look today at the Player of the Week review and the players that we will be recommending for you guys to maybe spin for. Now, while I would say, right, with the Player of the Week, if you are a newcomer, there's a lot of newcomers contacting me and saying, I'm new to the game, what do you recommend? Do you recommend me spin for Martinez, Bellingham, whatever, right? The first thing I'll say to you is, before you even spin, okay, play 15 games, right, whether it's against the AI, whether it's against anything, and you will be able to go in to the match pass, clear the match pass with 15 games, as you see there, and buy this free Bellingham, okay? You'll be able to get any of these players with the free five-star nominating contract that you get. The nominating contract is like a scout that goes off and gets you any of these players on this list, right? And what I would say to you is that if you want to try Bellingham, get this version first because he's slightly different than the whole player. He's probably easier to use this box-to-box. -box. You get more bang for your buck with him, and he's 100% free. If you get Bellingham on the free spin, which a lot of people have got on the player of the week spin, um or whether the free spin, or whether they've popped in a couple of coins or whatever. I do really rate this Bellingham, but when you've got a free version of him there, I would say save your coins, unless you really want a true pass and hold player uh, Bellingham. Which is fine if some people want that, right? I've got def different players in different positions. If I get him on the free, I would be delighted, but I think I'll be okay with the free uh, nominating contract one at the moment. So that kind of brings us on to the other players in the pack, right? So you've got Bellingham, you've got Oyarzabal, you've got Watkins, who we actually got on our free spin for the login. You've got Correa, you've got Ostegaard, you've got Doty, or what's his name? Doty, yeah. Oh, he's a Doty. You've got this guy, attacking midfielder as well, Akliush. You've got De Maria, Jose Sa, Pedro, and Latauro Martinez, right? So apologies if I butchered any of those names, um, but that's just what I do, really. Now, Ostegaard is featured on a player of the budgets as well for me, best players in his position for budget. He's down as a center back. He's a really strong card. I love him. He doesn't have blocker. You can't give him blocker. You can't train additional skills onto cards uh, like player of the week, player of the month. Oh, excuse me. Players that are already set that you can't train. It says here, you cannot be able, you're, you won't be able to learn additional skills. You can't reset his progression points and train him in a different way. What you see is what you get, okay? So Ostegaard is a, ver a very good player. A little bit lacking, I would say, because of his height. A little bit lacking on the acceleration and speed. Usually I would like to have a fast, mobile, versatile center back that's under 185 if he is one under 185. That's what I want him to be. I don't want him to be my Van Dijk or Varane or somebody like that, Maldini, okay? But I definitely recommend him. You can't train these guys up. So it's just really a video whether or not they're worth spinning for. I would say these two boys, right? Unless you're a fan of them. Obviously, this guy is a, is a cross specialist and he's on A form, as all the player of the weeks usually are. 91 speed, 91 acceleration, but his passing as a cross specialist is quite poor. So you are going to have to depend on that pinpoint crossing and early crosser play style and player skills. He doesn't have low lofted or one touch, which is a bit of a bust as well as a left midfielder, but he can play left back, so it's not too bad. And this guy, as well as an attacking midfielder, he's down as a whole player as well. He does have one touch pass, double touch, first time shot, but he doesn't have flip flap or soul control, which is a little bit of a mess if you aren't used to playing with really kind of kind of slight attacking midfielders. Now, he's actually quite tall for some, compared to some of the attacking midfielders, like Zico or some of them. Very nice low pass, but again, that balance acceleration is going to be a bit of a killer for this card. So I do not recommend him, really. Demaria, always a fan favorite, always a firm favorite of mine. Dribbling, you've got low pass, you've got lofted pass. He's down as a creative playmaker. A lot of people actually... A lot of people actually sleep on creative playmakers. I don't make too much of my decision-making based on what players I have on the playstyle, because the playstyle is kind of secondary, I think, to positioning how, what you want from your player and training the player to the indi individual stats that you want. But Demaria handles like a dream. I definitely think give him a pop if you have. You've also got Correa. This guy has scored a lot of goals against me on my road to glory, um, especially when I'm uh, uh, simming the games against the AI. If I ever come up against Atletico, he always scores goals against me for some reason. Probably as well the fact that he's got a super sub. If you do get this card, don't discount it straight away. He has brilliant finishing, brilliant acceleration and balance and attack and awareness, dribbling. He'll get the boost with all the manager boosts and all that as well. So you're going to have a player in 90 with a couple of these stats, including 90 finishing. And of course, if you do have any of the new managers, you're going to get the boost to their stats as well, which can make a difference for these player of the weeks, right? Jose San Watkins. I actually got Watkins. We haven't really used him yet. I've kind of played one or two games with him offline just to see what he handles like and he's just your traditional goal poacher lads um sorry any villa fans there but 
he probably wouldn't get into my main squad and i do have harry kane on my road to glory as well so it's going to be between him and kane jose sa you know what you're getting with a goalkeeper he's uh quite tall he doesn't have great jumping he's got a good physical presence he doesn't have a low punt which is a bit of a bust as well for me uh pedro obviously a good player for tottenham none of his stats apart from stamina and speed really stand out so i would definitely be playing him as a right wing back rather than a um right back like defensively he's got brilliant lofted pass he's down as an attack and he's got pinpoint cross and low lofted cross uh low lofted pass but he's also got man marking interception and sliding tackle i like that that's a thumbs up for me brilliant play styles as well i don't know if people have noticed right and i'll probably i'll probably um i've probably said this a few times in my stream but i don't know how people notice the changes they've made to incisive run the play style there so you've got speeding bullet incisive run long ball expert incising ru incisive run has had a couple of changes if you want me to do a video on it let me know in the comments below and drop a like if you're enjoying the content as well but yeah i do like this guy i also like martinez so we got a free version of martinez on our road to glory a while back with the nominating contract similar to how i showed you bellingham it can be free if you're a newcomer right very good balance finishing attack and awareness this is without the boost obviously you're going to get the boost with the manager and all that stuff he's down as a super sub ledge which really kind of changes this card and how you could use him he's very very good to bring on as a super sub i would love this guy for my road to glory as an upgrade to the guy i already have because of that super sub finding spirit dipping shot heading he's the complete forward if you do not have romario or michael owen or any of the meta end game legends this guy is a serious serious player little bit of a concern that he's not a goal poacher i prefer goal poachers with their movement but that's literally tiny 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 thing to complain about okay um and then we have bellingham who i've kind of covered a few times before you know what you're getting with bellingham this bellingham is kind of a whole player which means that he's going to pick up slightly different positions in the pitch right on the pitch tight possession low pass ball control all excellent if you have the likes of Xavi, he's going to get a boost to the ball control plus one. Plus, he's also going to get the manager playstyle proficiency boost. So it does bring him into that upper echelon of attacking midfielders as a whole player. Now, he does have one touch pass, double touch, flip flap and soul control. So if you can't dribble with Bellingham, lads, you need to get into training mode because he handles like a dream. And I'm speaking for myself as well. I have been so down on Bellingham in my road to glory since I got him. I'm probably expecting too much out of him. I am playing him as a defensive-minded player, and he's a beast defensively. But this guy has 81 finishing compared to before when I had him at 74, 75 finishing. Unless you're going to pump in a few more stats into that finishing, this is a really attacking-based Bellingham that can be a beast for you attacking midfielder. So I do rate him quite highly. And then we also have Oyarzabal. A lot of people talk about this guy. I've actually featured him a bit on my Hidden Gem series before as an alternative to the likes of Kaka or somebody like that. You know, he's got a nice height. He's got excellent player skills. He's also down as a super sub. When you're talking about comparing a player, right? If you're talking about the upper, upper tier guys, like the GOAT tier, Romario, Mike Lone, Eto, Shevchenko, any of those, right? Um, or even Kaka, you know, Zico, any of those attacking midfielders, right? That goes out the window when you're comparing an impact player. So impact players are super subs, guys that can come on and offer you a completely different thing, whether it's collar off the bench, whether it's Oyarzabal coming on as a super sub that instead of going long or, you know, crosses, you're going short to feet with intricate passes. This guy's a beast on wavering form. He's on A rating. He's got excellent stats across the board. And if you do get him, just give him a go. Trust me, I don't think this is the best build of him, but the super sub is nice, the captaincy is nice, and he's got pinpoint cross, and he can play a load of different positions. Very good utility player. So overall, look, the player of the week, because Bellingham is free there, I would say it's not a great one, but for newcomers, you can get some nice gems in there if you want to. But that is it for me. Don't forget to subscribe, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.